Yeah, I'll bet you you noticed. Number two was three effective pairs, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry, I kept that as number one. But now look, number three would be two effective pairs. So you had four effective pairs, and you have three effective pairs, two effective pairs. So what kind of shape do you have? Well, C2H2 is a perfect example of this. That's actually called ethyne or acetylene, and that's a gas that's used in welding, isn't it? Uh, so you get learn more about that in your organic chemistry unit. Uh, when you draw that Lewis diagram uh, for this, what you're going to get is a triple bond between the two carbons, single bonds to the hydrogens. What's the farthest that you can spread this out in terms of VSEPR theory? Well, it looks like it's a linear molecule, and it is. It's a linear arrangement and a linear shape, and you always get linears when you have two effective pairs. So look, here was that ethyne from before. If you take off those two hydrogens to make, look at that, there's a C2H2. Hey, 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 these don't want to be that close to one another. They want to actually spread out. And by the way, you got a double bond. You got to make a triple. Put all the spring in. Yeah, yeah. And you connect them, and look what happens. Isn't that great? So there you go. There's your triple bond. And what's the shape right there? That's a linear shape. So there you go. Linear is the shape and the arrangement here for when you have two effective pairs. Why is it two effective pairs? Okay, now look. Again, take that. You have two central atoms here, right? So just take one of them right now under consideration. There's one effective pair there. Count the mul multiple bond as one effective pair. So even if it's a triple bond, it's one effective pair. One, two. Two means linear. So you've got two linears here. You want to call that bilinear? That's fine, but the whole thing's just linear. Now, another classic one for this shape is CO2, which is carbon dioxide, which when we've done, we've done this a couple of times already. That's the Lewis diagram for carbon dioxide. The carbon in the middle, there's only one central atom, one, two effective pairs. It's got to be linear. So you look at that and you go, hey, you got it in tetrahedral. Doesn't even look right. It is not right. So here's the deal. You got to put the two double bonds in. So oxygens always in these kits have two holes in them. The carbons have four, because generally that's how many bonds they like to form, right? And when you do that, and when you do this, oh, look at that. There's the two double bonds there. And what's that shape? That's linear shape right there. Right, linear, okay? 180 degree bond angles between the outside atoms. So again, for four effective pairs, tetrahedral, pyramidal, You've got bent and you've got linear. For when you have three effective pairs, trigonal planar, you can have a bent in there too uh, as part of that uh, shape, uh, one of the shapes in uh, that arrangement. But for the two effective pairs, you're going to get linear. Now there's other ones too. Here they come.